I like working with cars and I like doing this type of hobby. It teaches me more about engineering and just get creative with it. This whole experience means to me I'm setting up a good foundation for my education by using STEM and 1080. And uh, this whole experience has brought me together. I've learned about marketing and how to use teamwork. We have a lot of competition here. And it's not easy competition. Like, we have to work hard, get points on the board. We have to work together, too. That's a big part of it. There's a spark when they first see the program and there's something about it that draws them to it and it's not necessarily kids that are into just remote control cars but they see something and they say well I can do this or oh look at that and that seems to grow into this like passion. You want to move the air in certain ways so you suck to the ground. We love engineering and we love playing and playing with cars and understanding how they work what we can do to make these cars do like the things no one else has ever thought about doing. I found out that I really like math and engineering and STEM all together. I found out that I really wanted to be an engineer when I grow up. A lot of times uh, uh, inner city kids um, only get the opportunity to see things in the inner city. This program has given the kids the opportunity to think outside the, outside the norm in which they get a chance to travel and compete on a national level. They get the opportunity to network with other students of their same age and get, a, get an understanding of what is going on in other parts of the world. changing lives here. They tell us that because they never, maybe students never thought of themselves as someone who could be on a team. And yet now they're, they're the chief financial officer. They have found that they really like designing things in CAD and printing them in the 3D printers. They like the idea of manufacturing. They didn't realize that it wasn't this grimy old thing they heard of their grandfathers doing. I don't know that it's cool to be a geek anymore. I just think the things that we used to think were geeky are no longer geeky.